In this video, we're going to have Jake over from the Mido team to give us an updated tutorial on how to use Mido from the beginning. And this includes how to import the data, merge data set, pivot data, sorting the data, filtering the data, performing simple graphs, as well as computing statistics, and also perform various functions via a point and click feature of Mito. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. Hey, this is Jake from Mido. I'm gonna show you how you can quickly generate Python and analyze your data using uh, the Mido extension to Jupyter. So Mido is a tool you can download into your Jupyter environment. And yeah, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is get data into the tool. So we can do that multiple ways. One thing we can do is we can insert a data frame as an argument if you're already working with some data above. We can also, delete this here, we can also pass in uh, files directly from our file system. So I'm gonna add these two CSVs, Amtrak 2010 and zip code 2010. And we'll see our data gets put into the tool as data frames. And below, we will generate this code. So everything we do in the Mito sheet will generate the equivalent Python. So this code here is turning these CSVs into data frames so we can start working with them and generating you know, scripts based on them. Uh, now that we have the data in, we can see these two files share this zip code column. So we can actually join them on the zip code. And we can do this within the tool without actually having to type any code. So we'll click our merge button here. It'll automatically detect that this zip code column is shared between the two files. And then we can join just by leaving these as the settings. And we can also decide what columns we want to keep. Um, we'll decide to keep all of them for now. So I'll just close this. And now you see we've created this new data frame, which is the joined data set on this zip code column. And if I scroll down below, I'll see we generated the code, the equivalent pandas code for that join. So you can see how we can generate, you know, what is decently complex syntax really quickly with the tool. Um, you know, beyond that, if we want to now investigate this join data set, let's say we wanted to look at how many zip codes for each state are present. A really great way to do this would be to do a pivot table. So I'm going to click our pivot table feature. As the row, we will put the state. And as the value, we will put the zip code. And we can use all these different aggregation methods. We're going to use uh, count here. And now we get a pivot table of the amount of zip codes per each state that are present in this data set. And below, you'll see we get the equivalent code for that pivot table here. We can also order this. You know, we can sort it in ascending or descending order to maybe get a better look at the data. So I'll click this column filter button. Here we can add filters, which I'll do in a second. But first, I'm just going to show we can put it in ascending or descending order to sort the data in the way that we want. When we do that, we get the equivalent code for that sort. But we can also add filters as well. So I'll add a simple filter here. Uh, let's say we just want to look at the values that are greater than 60. Only one present, maybe let's add a little more. Greater than 40, let's say a little more generous. We can see the data set adjusts in real time as we change the number that we're filtering on. And below, we generate the code for that filter, um, which is really valuable. Um, beyond that, we can also investigate the data. I'm gonna take this filter off really quickly. We can investigate the data um, a bit more visually. So we provide a distribution graph or a frequency chart um, for any column, as well as summary statistics for the column. So a really good way to get some high level information on the data that you're dealing with. So I'll close this. We can also interact with the data in a somewhat of a, you know, a spreadsheet format using spreadsheet functions. So we can add a column to any data set and then do operations using normal spreadsheet um, functionality, like spreadsheet functions like cat, for example. You click on this documentation button, oops, you will get um, a list of all the spreadsheet functions that we su su support. You know, the, it varies from numerical things to a lot of data cleaning properties, left, right, uh, trim, mid, functions like that. And we can also do conditional things like ifs, ands, and ors, really valuable for manipulating your data and you know, munging it and cleaning it and getting it in the format that's uh, best for you. And I'll just show you a quick one example of how that works. Let's say we want to concatenate two pieces of data together. So this will concatenate the columns. Here's our concatenated data, and below we get the equivalent code. And then the last thing I just want to point out, I won't get into it too deeply, but because we're generating a script here, 
what we can do is we can save these analyses and then replay them on other data sets. And all we have to do for that is hit the save button. And what it does is it saves the logic here. It saves the steps that we've taken. And then we can replay those steps to a similarly structured data set. So you can imagine if you have a process where you're analyzing a similar set of data, um, you know, maybe it's a data set that's being updated, maybe once a day, once a month, you know, twice a day, once a week, whatever it is, um, you can sort of automate that process within the tool. It's sort of like a, a macro within the Python environment, but definitely more functionality we could go into, but I'll sort of leave here with a, a high level look into the tool. Um, you know, essentially it's a great way to generate code really quickly. And in a lot of examples, code that could be a little bit hard to do by hand. It might take some time to go look up the exact right syntax. We essentially give you that in this point and click format. And then also a great way to investigate your data a bit more visually. So yeah, I hope you uh, sign up to use the tool and would love to meet you at some point. Thanks. So I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.